What up? What's good, man? Back. We back. The Man Cave Podcast. Y'all know what it is. And my phone getting on my nerves. I'm sorry I messed. Look, listen. <laughs> I know I'm doing the intro, but I think my settings changed. It, it keep cutting off. Like, I'm used to it just being open and it keep cutting off. It's on my last nerve. Yeah, you got to change them settings. Yeah, but my bad. That sleep time. It's the Man Cave Podcast. We are back another Tuesday to report these sports. Y'all know what we do. We talk what? Sports. Sports. sports, And And more more sports. More sports, baby. Look, it's getting on my nerves. I never change nothing, and I don't know what it is or why you keep doing it, but it's getting on my nerves. No, that's phones for you. Technology, man, is is, – Always messing up. Always messing up. Man. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know who it is. Y'all see the names on the screen. Appreciate y'all for stopping by every week. Y'all better make sure. Well, I don't want to demand. Let me not demand. (laughs) Please like, share, subscribe, download everything. The downloads. We need subs. We need all of it. Tell your friends. Show up. (laughs) Show up and show out. Spread the good word. Yes. Show up and show out. This is on my last nerve. Because I got to keep opening it now. And I got topics on here. So it's like, what the hell? So <laughs> we always want to shout out Let's Talk Sports. Let's Talk Sports. Go check it out everywhere. Sideline Sports. Salute. Got to shout them out. Shout them out. Make sure y'all check them out everywhere. Y'all know what everywhere means now. It's 2023. <laughs> if you don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. I shouldn't have to name every single platform. That's a lot. Everywhere, check them everywhere, out. Everywhere, everywhere. So we back, man. Mike, it's been an interesting couple weeks in yeah, this man. league, man. Stuff been going, but we ain't gonna start with that though, man, because that's on my mind. Because you know, you you see it, you know. Yeah. You know? But we gonna start with uh some NFL because we got some NFL news, man. It's been not. It's been a quiet off season. It ain't really been nothing going on in the offseason in the NFL, man. How you feel about this offseason so far in the NFL? Why is it so quiet or, like, is it different? It feels different to me because we usually hear a lot of stuff. Like, we've heard things but and things have happened, but not like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> nothing's really been going on, man, except for in the beginning. And and you know what? I like it. You I actually like it. Because- yeah, because it shows that everybody kind of made the moves, did their thing, but nobody needed that big. Except for the Jets. Yeah, well, I mean, the Jets. That's what I'm saying. Knew that was coming, but yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it shows the continuity yeah, in the true. the whole league now. Everybody's right here. We're all here. Yeah, they made their little moves. They bettered themselves. The draft came and gone. Yeah, you no. Know, People getting that bag, as you can see. That and, bag. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's what's I going on. I think I actually like it, too, though, man, because it, it tells me that everybody did what they had to do. Mm-hmm. Everybody been doing what they needed to do in these past few years, and they, they like what they have and not like that because the teams are – they can be cohesive. You know what I mean? Yes. They're keeping guys in. they not really – it wasn't a lot of movement, man. It was some moves. We reported some moves, but it wasn't a lot of moves, man. Like the offseason usually be crazy, but I like it, man. Everybody is is cool with what they got. And we got some teams now that's been together for some years now. It's more than usual. 
And then, and that's what's going to make for a better season because everybody's yeah. going to be used to playing with everybody. Same coaches are everywhere, except for, you know, of course, Sean Payton's new. The little changes here and there with the coaching, but most coaches are the same. Most teams have kept their structured or their core together. So now everybody's going to be better the next year, this coming yeah. up here. And yeah. it's just going to show on the field. Yeah. Who got the bag? Pull it up. Who Where got that bag the at? Bag. Who got the bag? Evan Ingram just uh, got got the uh, three year contract, forty something million. I don't remember the exact number, but twenty four million is guaranteed with the Jaguars. That definitely helps uh, Trevor Lawrence. He, you know, he got his guy at tight end. Uh, I think Evan Ingram's gonna have a big season. I think Trevor Lawrence gonna have a big season. And I, and I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna say it. I think they gonna win two playoff games this year. Ooh. Ooh, so you calling them in the AFC Championship, huh? Bengals, Jaguars. Oh, man, you reaching for it already. Calling the cat fight in the championship. You no, know I'm picking. You know the Bengals. We 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 on the I, Chiefs. I know you calling the Bengals. We on the Chiefs' ass. You know I'm picking them every year. The Bengals, we unless we ain't there. Like, cause when we trash, we trash. But nah, we here. <laughs> I ain't tripping. But yeah, I think I think the Jaguars is going because they look at the game that they had against the Chiefs. Man, they got blew out in the first half. Four Smash. interceptions thrown. Trevor Lawrence stunk it up. But they what they lose by like six. They came they were right back. there. They, they were, were driving at the end. Like six points. And they was they was down by like 30 or some shit. It was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm right saying? There. But they came back and only lost by six. When Trevor Lawrence got his sunshine, got his head, hit his bearings, you know what I mean? He went out there and had a good game. And I was still talking crazy about him, too, because there were four interceptions in the first half. But you playing the Chiefs, it's a lot of hype. Do you what what you think the Jags gonna do now that they locked in they tight end for the next three years? Listen, like They're you said, in. like you said, they were getting smoked mm-hmm. when the locker room, all of a sudden that song came on. Ain't no mountain high, ain't yeah. no valley low. And boom, sunshine came. And it was from the movie. And it was from the movie. Yeah, it came right out there. Yeah. Started bombing away. And Evan Ingram was integral part of that whole team. Yeah. And the way the Giants just let him go, which, all right, so now they got Darren Waller, but Evan Ingram was good for them. He was just injury prone. Now yeah. he's healthy. He looks good. He's got Trevor Lawrence, who loves his safety blankets. Got to have it. Now you got Calvin Ridley, who's coming back, looks strong. Yep. I think he's going to have a big season, too. Woo. Hey, I, hey look, I, I like your pick. I like the Jungle Cats fighting for the championship. I like that. But, again, I'm not going to say the Jags make that big of a step. Yeah, not, not the Jags, though. I do like that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing it, to be honest. I, that would be highly entertaining because I think both sides of the ball on both teams are good. Yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, Joe Mixon restructured his contract. No number. Um, yeah, we they going uh, they need to put the numbers out. I ain't seen no numbers yet. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But I ain't seen no numbers yet. I'm wondering what it is. You know, you know what I mean? Maybe, I think he getting paid on the back end because a lot of these contracts they they give you a little bit and then they pay you on the, you get crazy money on the back end. That's what it is. He getting last, huge money on the back end. His last two years he gonna make some shit. Huge money on the yeah. back end. But see, that's smart because Joe Joe gonna do it. Yeah, Joe gonna do it. And Ace Jamar, I think he'll do it too. Oh, I think Jamar does. The Eagles don't want to leave. They want to keep that together. And if they keep doing that, you go. They gonna make their money regardless, because incentives, all that stuff. They gonna make they. they the Bengals will make it so they make their money. That's what they have to understand. See that that right there is something the Bengals haven't been able to do in a long time. Yeah. All right, you do this. You get a uh, AFC Player of the Week so many times, or win. Yeah, offensive yeah. player of the year, or you go this far in the playoffs, or do this, get this many yards. They have not been able to say, "Hey, we'll pay you this much more if you do that," because they haven't had the team to do right. that with. Right, and and, and they make it simple too. They make it simple. Yeah. It won't be something that's far fetched that they can't nah. because they know that we supposed to be paying you, but we're trying to keep this team together. So, what you think the Patriots did? Why you think Tom Brady did that for him? Yeah. And all how many years he was with the paint, he did that the whole time. That that's why he was able to have those defenses. That's why they was able to get a Randy Moss. That's why they was able to have Gronk and Hernandez. All these guys that they had, they had a they defense always was crazy. That's goons. The, yeah, some goons on that squad. Tom Brady could have made a hundred. He could have broke a record for uh, contracts a long time, ten years ago. And the, and his basis was. 
his overall value was huge. Yes. But his yearly salary was small. Wasn't nothing. Yeah, it wasn't. Nothing. So he hit them incentives. Yep, and he put them in. Yeah, and they and they made them reachable. They was reachable yeah. incentives, though. He didn't have to go above and beyond to get that extra money because they know they want to pay him that money. But we gotta get, we gotta keep this team. We want to, we want to build Super Bowls. We want to win six rings. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they did. So. That was smart, man. So I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the uh, from from the Bengals. I'm liking what I'm seeing. People they want to take less money and all that. We got superstars all over the place. So if oh, everybody just think about the team, ah, oh, man, we can get a couple. We can get at least two, at least two rings in the next five years. During that team first mentality, and that that's the way you have to be, especially yeah. in this money hungry, you know, greedy way of life. Now, you know. You be team first, your money's gonna come at the end, just like Joe Mixon's contract. Yeah. He get paid nothing. He get paid like four million, five million yeah. a year, and then at in the end, boom, he about to hit big with the yeah, last two. Like he make like ten or fifteen in one of them last yeah, so year. Crazy, yeah. In the last couple of years, but I, I just the one thing about the running back, I just you know I hope he don't get banged up or nothing because then that changes everything. You know what I mean? That's the only thing when it comes to running backs, man. Sometimes you do got to rob them. You do got to rob the team. Not even rob them. You just got to get what you want. You just got to get what you deserve, like, before it all falls down. And why do you think all this is happening now, all these running backs? You see yeah. them all stepping back. Yeah, uh, Barkley, he, he ain't got a deal yet on the tag. Uh, Josh Jacobs and Tony Pollard. And those is three important backs mm-hmm. to their teams. And those Eckler, teams, Eckler hasn't got a contract Eckler, yet. Eckler, and, and, his money. Yeah, and he and it's uh wide receivers, backup wide receivers making more money than him. And he just started crazy, man. Crazy, ain't it? Crazy. Yes. But that's four running backs that are key parts of Ladies, their these boys, the bag. The bag, man. They all deserve the bag. Every single one yes. of those running backs deserve yes. the bag. But Dallas, they- I understand why Dallas is hesitant because what they went through with Zeke. They gave Zeke all that money, and Zeke ain't been the same since. So I do understand that. But the history do show, man, running backs don't last long if you don't have a quarterback. And that's the thing. Dak is – you can't trust Dak enough to pay Tony Tony Pollard all this money because you might have to run him into the ground. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You that, can't that trust Daniel Jones. You can't trust uh, uh, Garoppolo now if he even plays. If he even plays. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, man, like – I'm just saying, man, and Justin Herbert, he ain't there yet. So, can't do you really want to pay this running back all this money and Justin Herbert ain't that guy yet? I think he's the most that. reliable out of all those guys you said, though. <sighs> I'm paying Eckler and relying on Justin over the Apollo Dimes and all them. I'm paying him. I'm not doing that, man. If you all the right. Honestly, you would do that, honestly. I'm I, not I gotta, Because I could trust Herbert over all those other quarterbacks. Yeah, but I can, can you trust him enough? To pay, so. to pay Eckler all because Eckler he worked some some money and he won a lot of money, so that's why he ain't got it because he wants a lot of money. He's not gonna restructure nothing. I've been injured all that and I count through when I'm healthy. Give me my money. You know what I mean? So I don't think I would do that because is he gonna be healthy? And then I gotta count on this young quarterback that still ain't got over the hump yet. And hey, listen, I need you to tell me name one Super Bowl championship team that didn't have a high end running back. That one won, that didn't that didn't have one that won the Super Bowl. Uh, maybe going all the way back to the early days, maybe. Exactly. You you have to have a key running back. You yeah. have to have that ground game to do this. Yeah. And what are you gonna do? Give up some spectacular superstar just to have some mediocre guy and say, "Hey, we could do it with him." This isn't back in the day where you had the Ravens defense, you had the Patriots defense, where they didn't have to have some superstar guy throwing the ball or even running the ball. Because if you think about it, who did the Ravens have running the ball back then? What? Which Jamal one? Jamal Lewis was old. And Which one? Had, what Super Bowl? Well, you could go back to the first the one. The Ravens defense won both of those Super Bowls. Exactly. Bowl. Flacco they, did his thing in the second one, but they don't, hey. And Ray they didn't have, they didn't have nothing. They didn't have nothing. Ray Lewis was MVP of that first one. And they, to be honest, that whole defense could have been MVP. The whole and the second one, they only gave it to Flacco because Flacco had a good game. But that defense is – I'm telling you, the Ravens defense won both of those. But, yeah, they – yeah, I can't even – yeah, the running back didn't matter in those – super in those in that Super Bowl, in those Ravens Super Bowls. It's a, it's a lot of Super defense, Bowls. Sean. It's a lot of Super Bowls where, yes, 
you had great running backs because you had Terrell Davis, Darcy Levis for the Packers, and all these guys. Uh, Warwick Dunn with the Falcons. You had like a lot of guys, man. Like, but the Patriots, they never really had a stud. They never had a stud. They no, never they always had that. Two, like they had Corey Dillon coming off the back end of his. Yes, that's what I'm saying. They, they didn't had have defense. to have that because they had the defense. It was defense, man. Like, so you don't have to have a, a top of the line running back. And nowadays, that's what you might. I don't know, man. Because Dalvin, there ain't no defense is like that now. 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 Like, a lot, and Saquon, look at Saquon, don't got a contract. Like, and with Saquon on the field, yes, they're good, but does do they really win games? I they think there's a lot of pressure coach. off. I think it takes a lot of pressure off Danny Dimes, though. Bro, that's the problem. That is the problem. The running back shouldn't be taking the pressure off of the quarterback. The quarterback should be good at what he do, and he taking the pressure off of everybody because he does hit. Look at Patrick Mahomes. Look at Joe Burrow. Everything's easy. Even Josh Allen when he's playing good. All those years, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, it didn't translate to a lot of Super Bowls, but look how easy things was or or with these quarterbacks. But look, look, look at it like this. If you don't have a running back and nobody's scared of your run game, they can sit back and play Tampa 2 and prevent defense the whole time and take your air game out. No, we, nothing, man. we just watched the Chiefs win a Super Bowl without a running back. No, they had some guys, but they didn't use them as running backs. They used them as wide That's what receivers. I'm saying. They but didn't that's have what a, Eckler is. Eckler's that guy goes out and catches yes, the ball. They and didn't goes. have a they didn't have a running back that was getting a hundred yards. That that's just they that's not their game. Patrick hey. Mahomes is their game. Now hey. they come up on the running back, like just say somebody say Dalvin Cook go there to the Chiefs. No, that ain't happening. It's going I'm just saying, just hypothetically, that's gonna beat bro. That's gonna be a whole different problem for the NFL if they get a real, uh, like a real elite running back. That's gonna be a problem for them. But you know why it's gonna be a problem for them? Because you gotta worry about Patrick Mahomes first. They still not gonna worry about Dalvin Cook. They can get any running back in the league right now, top running back. They still gonna worry about Patrick Mahomes first, and that makes it easier on him. I, I, th I think the Chiefs got well. See now with the injury that just happened because. What's his name? Uh, Pacio or whatever the hell his name is. Pacaro. Oh, Pacheco. But Pacharo or whatever. Yeah, that dude. Pacheco, yeah, he a beast. He's, he's, he's on the pup list now. He's about to be out the first six weeks of the season. Yep. He had a great rookie season, too, and that's crazy. So that's, Derek McKenna is going to have to step up and be the man again. Yep, but he's not. He's not. It's going to be Patrick Mahomes again. Well, yeah, it's always Pat Mahomes, but I'm and saying that's, that. That's the only reason why I agree with people when they say he's the best quarterback, because he is why they win games. They don't win for no other reason. They defense wasn't even that good, and they still went out there and won a fucking Super Bowl. So it had, listen, bro, like I'm just saying that quarterback matter. If Aaron Rodgers go out there on the field and make everything easy for Garrett Wilson and all those guys – they moving the ball, all that like Aaron Rodgers do. They're saucing them. They get to breathe. They get a rest. Oh, yeah. They always get a lot of – it makes things easier for everybody. You know what I mean? The defensive line get the rest. The offensive line good because you're doing short passes. Like, you know how Aaron Rodgers is. He do them thinking dunks five, ten, you know, here, six there. You know what I mean? That's a lot to – he's ball, to Aaron Jones all the time. No, that's, that's, running that's back. exactly what I was going to say. That's why Aaron Jones was so effective. Because that's why Aaron Brees, Rodgers, that's why Brees Hall gonna be amazing over there for him. Brees Hall is gonna be amazing because Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is gonna make it easy. You have to have a quarterback. And I'm not if saying Sa you don't, but I'm just saying you still need that oh, running back that can run. If Saquon goes somewhere with a quarterback, say he go, say Saquon go to the Chargers, the Chargers will be three or four games better than they oh, was last and year. I, and I'm not saying they wouldn't because Saquon is gonna make it's gonna be different. Herbert. It's going, it's going to be way better. He got – Saquon can block. You know what I'm saying? So now Herbert can get into what he do, and that makes it easier for everybody. He gets out the pocket. You're doing what you do. The receiver's doing what they do. It's all cohesive. You know what I mean? Without a quarterback, none of, this, none of it works. None of it. It don't matter who you got on your team. Without a quarterback, unless you – the Ravens and you got Trent Dilfer as your quarterback, you still win. Or that Buccaneers team – with that defense, Warren Sapp, all those guys, and they had Brad Johnson. It's certain guys, it happened because they had the defense. And we saw we saw it last year. You saw a quarterback step in, drafted in the seventh round. Brock Purdy. Yep, Brock Purdy. Had a defense. Rookie. Had Christian McCaffrey. Had Kittle. Yep. You know, had Ayuk. Yep. Had Debo. I mean, yep. you saw that guy step in and do what he did. 
until the playoffs. Well, yeah, until he got to that, we what, seen, that championship game and then he got smoked. But we seen what a, a, a good court we seen. I'm not saying he's not a good quarterback, but we well, see he doesn't what with these guys. Yes, we see what happens when your quarterback's here and not here when that big game come and it's time to put it all on, leave it all on the field. Yeah, he messed his elbow, but he wasn't doing nothing before that. So it didn't even matter that he messed his elbow up. He wasn't doing nothing before that. So the quarterback, I'm telling you, man, like these running backs, I would be reluctant to pay these dudes. Like, listen, go out here this year, ball out. You, I'm going to give you some incentives this year, but then if you ball out, we'll pay you whatever you want. Stay healthy because Saquon been injured. Saquon stay needs healthy. to stay healthy. See, stay he's one that does. Go out there and, and be good again. Because Jacobs didn't – come on, man. He had a little – he had a fall off last season. So, Nah, well, Jacobs was a baller last not season. Not like he was the year – not like he was previously. I he, I think that was his best year ever. So why wouldn't the Raiders pay him? Because just like you saying, they don't want to spend the money on that because I don't think they they believe in Garoppolo now for some – because, you know, he might not play. Injury so now, now they got to do something. It might be over. He, yeah, he was man. back up and then he got his little shining light. And uh, his, he might be done for. Look, Josh Jacobs, two dead. This is his best year ever. Look, over 1,600 yards rushing. This past year? Yeah. Okay. And 12 touchdowns. Okay, that was a great year. Why ain't they paying him? So, I'd have paid him. So, now nah, he get paid. He averaged almost five yards a carry. See? Now, yeah, he supposed to get paid. <laughs> But they ain't see. But the, the thing is, they ain't got their quarterback. It all goes back to the quarterback. They ain't got their quarterback situation right. So I'm not about to lock him up until I get my quarterback situation right. Because you might have to pay somebody. Like next year, he go. They gonna have to, or they hopefully they can. If they trash enough, they can get uh, Caleb Williams or draft uh, Drake May or one of those guys. Which I think is what they gonna try to do is draft the quarterback. But they not paying. They not paying. It's he gonna play. They all three of them gonna play this year on the tag. Yeah, that's gonna. That's crazy. That is crazy. If I was Saquon and and Jacobs, I'd be pissed. I don't know about Pollard so much because I understand. Yeah, I think that tag's gonna give them a lot of money for the one year. They're just worried about if they get hurt and they don't got nothing after that. Yeah, that's what their the, the problems is, and they are injury prone. Well, Saquon more than any of them, but. Yeah. And then that's that's where the problem lies with them guys. What's your uh, top five receivers in the league right now? And in, in no order, I'm going to say. No order, just five of them. Chase, Jefferson, Adams, A.J. Brown. Oh, he threw A.J. in there. Gosh. Why can't I think of uh... – the hell! I can't think of his name. What team he played DK for? DK Metcalf. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, Doug boy. DK. That was only four. No, that's five. Chase. Oh Jefferson. yeah, that's. Five. Yeah. Yeah, Devontae. AJ. DK. Yeah, Devon. Yep. Devontae. Yeah. Yeah, that, that I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably that's probably my same, but I, I'm gonna take AJ Brown now and put T Higgins in there though. See, I can't do that because T's not a one. He he is that boy though. He is, but he's that boy because Chase boy, take all the pressure yard every season, bro. Get out of here, man. Nah, you can't tell me he's AJ a, Brown is not better than bro. As a number two receiver, he's a thousand every year, and he's a baller for that. And I get that he's not. He's better than AJ. But you can't. No, he, he could be a number one on any team. We ain't letting him go. Like every, you know how many people want yeah, to let him go either. I get that, but I'm not putting T. Higgins in the top five. But I'm not gonna punish him because we're not letting him go. Like he didn't develop. He's a number one. Top five. Oh, we got two number ones playing on our out there at, at all times. Well, he, 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 Higgins, Higgins is a monster. Higgins, I'm telling you, six five. He catches everything in his route. I, see, I, can't, I can't put him over. He don't run routes like him. I can't. I just can't. Well, hey, AJ him. ain't putting up numbers like him, man. Uh, see, all right, let's, let's hold on. Let's We're going to have a better season this year out of them two, AJ or Higgins. I mean, I, I got to say AJ. Get out of here, man, Mike, man. I look, last here. year, Higgins, see, he had over 1,000 the last two years. And then I know. he had 900 the year before that. I know. So last year he had 1,029, yeah, right? Yeah, 
thousand twenty nine last year. As a number two, though, not a number one. Just think what he do as Chase. A, you got with Chase there. You're gonna have it like just that. Think what he'd do as a, he had sixteen if he was a number one. And look, here's what AJ Brown had last year as a number one. Don't leave that out. Higgins okay. did that as a number two. So he had five hundred more yards as a number one. That's it. Come on, and man. Hold on, hold on. And four more. Well, I mean, again, a number one. But all right, look, Devontae Smith. If you put, if you look up his stats, because he's their number two. Let's, let's look at his stats. Devontae Smith stats last, last year, right? You ready for this? Go ahead. He a baller. 1,200 yards and seven touchdowns. Yeah, I like that. I mean, so all right. I you like had that on the same team as AJ with 14. I like that. I like he's that. a monster. That's nice, but Higgins is better than both of them niggas. He ain't better than AJ. He's crazy as hell. He's better than AJ. No, nah, he's not. Who have a better season this year? Look, even Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase only had dude, Jamar Chase Jamar only had Chase more yards games. than T. Higgins. Jamar Chase missed games, though. He was out games. That don't count. He was out games. He missed a few. He missed games. So we can't even, you know what I mean? He he missed games. I still gotta say AJ has the better season. Of course, he had number one. He had number one, but I mean, see, I think Joe likes spreading the ball more than anything, though. I know we got Boyd. You got Boyd, and then and we done brought in Irv. We done brought in Irv Junior out there at yeah, tight so end. Like the way the way that goes, he spreads the ball more. Like Hertz is gonna use AJ a lot, but you got Devontae Smith, so yeah. AJ will always be the number one on that squad. I think if Higgins is the number one somewhere, he get he's he got fifteen or sixteen every year. I think Higgins could be a number one somewhere. Yeah, everybody, you know how many teams wanted him to be their number one? We wasn't doing it. We nah, bro. We do it. This is what he would get. Yeah, that big old bag. Oh, and he, he gonna get it with us. We gonna yeah. play all of them. Watch, they gonna all restructure. They they're all gonna restructure. Yeah, they're not. Everybody. We all gonna get their big bag in different years. So you know what I mean. They gonna make it right for them. Incentives is where they and bonus. The signing bonus is where you can really pay them. You know what I'm saying? Like when you restructure it, you give them another sign. You know that's where you can yeah. really give them a stupid amount of money, like forty million for a signing bonus. You know what I'm saying? But then you might get five million a year for so many years, and then that last year you get like fifteen or twenty million. You know what I'm saying? Like they structure it different ways. The incentives is how you, how they gonna make sure that everybody get paid if they yeah. do it the right way. But it looked like Mike Brown doing a good job. So yeah, we agree on the top five. I just throw I'm throwing Higgins in there. AJ got to go. I'm in he's six. He's six and Devontae seven. God damn. We, we, well, we left out Tyreek Hill. We left out some guys, too. Uh, see, Tyreek Hill, now I got to restructure that now because. You left Hill sitting out there. All right, Tyreek Hill, five. Higgins is six. Higgins got to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, Higgins, AJ, they can't be in there. Tyreek got to be in there. Yeah, I guess I got to do that, too. Tyreek got to be five. We can't put AJ Brown over Tyreek. That don't even make sense. And we ain't, I ain't even going off like R's. I'm talking about the, like, in the, like, the top five. Not yeah, the, yeah. Top five, the top five. So we got to put Tyree Hill in there. Yeah, he definitely got to be up there. Yeah, because I because my personal top five is probably the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you. To be honest, I mean, yeah, my personal five is probably the same. But I did. That's crazy to leave Tyreek out. Top five running backs this season. Well, just you know, right now in the league. All right. Well, you know, I go Jonathan Taylor. JT. Nick Chubb. All right. Nikki, that makes sense. Damn. See, it's hard because, all right, look, if they don't sit out, I think Saquon could have a good year. <laughs> oh, yeah, he could. But again, if he sits out, then <laughs> who knows the about running that? Back, the running back situation, that's hard, though. I ain't even it, it's hard doing that. But I'm putting Mixon in mind, though. Mixon in there. I think Mixon could definitely have a good year. He, he definitely top five, and I think he's gonna sh he's gonna do it because of what Christian he just McCaffrey. did, how he restructured. Christian McCaffrey in there. Oh, C yeah, C Max always in there. Who in there? Who else? I still might put Dalvin Cook in there though. <laughs> yeah, well, because I still think Dalvin Cook or is a monster. You know who I, I think is gonna be a underrated guy who, who probably cracked the uh, cracked the top five. I think uh, Travis Etney. From the Jags. Oh, yeah, ETN. Travis ETN. ETN. Yeah, I call him at me. I don't know why, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like Travis, man. He a little back, though, but I like him. He's bigger than he looked. 
I like him. He he good. That's part of them Jags, man. I'm telling you, them boys gonna be. And good. I think Dijon Robinson, that rookie from Atlanta, can make some noise Dijon, out there. Dijon might end the season at, in the top five. And I he's playing for Atlanta, so he's gonna get a lot of carries. Him, and Cordell Desmond being that dual back stuff is crazy. I think. I think Desmond Ritter might have a good season too, man. Like I do at his first season starting, I think he might have a good well, I season. I think you have a real good season. You I got the weapons, you got Pitts in London, the line solidified. Yeah, I think him. You got Bijan now. Great one. Hey, I think they about to go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I think they're gonna win their division. Oh, I like that. No, I, I already picked that. I love Atlanta to win that. And they division. got a good defense. I just need Ritter. If Ritter go out there and, and play like he just just be a game manager and win games, they gonna be good. They oh, got I love the dirty bird. Dirty birds are winning that division. But they ta- they offense is is good. They got they skill players is good. They got a lot of good skill players. QBs, QBs, because we pretty much agree on all this shit. Which well, which we know is Pat, Pat, Joe, Josh. Still got to put Aaron Rodgers in there. And five man. Uh, Listen, I'm gonna go. I, I don't see Josh is wavering for me. Josh and his Josh is in the top five. Ain't no, ain't ain't. Sure. All right, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. He at the five. Give me t- that's that's five. He, he in the top five. He in the top five. And right, I'm, probably gonna, I'm probably gonna put I'll, Josh. Put I'll put Matthew Stafford in there. Josh. I'll put Matthew Stafford in there. I can't. I can't do it. I got. I got to see him play because his, his elbow, elbow might. Up. An elbow might mess up. Herbert. I'm gonna put Herbert though. All right, Pat. Joe, Josh, Herbert, and you know what? God, I'm gonna Aaron say Trevor Rogers, Lawrence. Bro. Aaron Rodgers, bro. I no I way you him. don't put. Come on, bro. Aaron Rodgers still he's still top he five. He's still something. He's still God. top five, bro. Look, I, I, I that's the only reason think, Trevor Lawrence hey, came in. I'm gonna take Josh out and put Trevor in instead. To be honest. Oh no, nah, Trevor ain't better than Josh yet. They both turn the ball over a lot, but. I'm looking at the team aspect of this. But they actually might be because <laughs> neither I'm looking one at the team like aspect that. because you got digs and all that crap going down over there and you don't know what's going to happen. And you got uh, Calvin Ridley now, Ingram. You got some pieces over Marvin Jones. So so, so well I I actually think they're going to have a better season than the Bills. They, and I and I think that's going to be a big I, reason. Is I actually do. I actually think they're going to have a better season than the Bills. Sunshine going to be over there rocking that duvo. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be bad for the Bills this year. <laughs> I think Watson's going to have a good year too, but I don't think he's going to be top five right now. Yeah, not right now, man. Y'all, y'all, we'll see. I just want to see what y'all do. That's all. I want to oh, see. Yeah. I, I want to see now that they have a full year together. They have everything. New, too, huh? new, new look with the white helmets. Oh, look yeah, at this. with the white helmets. Yeah, I like. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Y'all can y'all clean, you know, dude. y'all can y'all can jack the swag though. I like it. I ain't <laughs> mad at y'all. I ain't mad at y'all at all. I like it. I like it with the white helmets. You gotta have the all white everything. You know what I'm Listen, saying? That's the first time the Browns changed their helmet in a long time. No, I think we need all black. I think we need a black helmet. Do the black with the white stripes? Woo. Black that shit out, boy. Yeah, hell yeah. Or the orange stripes, however they do it. Or but the orange, yeah. Or like that burnt orange. Helmet, we need a black helmet. I swear, that's black that shit up. But yeah, man, Cleveland. I'm, 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 I want to see what they're gonna do. I want to see how their defense look. It's they, they got some stuff over there. And uh, if if everything come together, man, if Deshaun come out there and and do what Deshaun does, no. then I think they'll be fine, man. It's crazy. Like he almost lost everything. And that's that. That what a comeback story it'll be. Yeah, yeah. If they if they have a good season, I think from yeah. hand jobs to the playoffs. From hand jobs <laughs> <to> the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, get to some NBA, man. Uh, them good old Cavs, man. What? 6-0 in the summer league. What? Big time scorers, though. Like, Listen, we got some big time scorers on that, on, that, on that summer league team. I think uh I think Imani gonna make the team. I think the the Merrill kid gonna make Merrill's the team. Merrill's definitely making it. Mobley's brother gonna make the Isaiah team. Isaiah Mobley, listen, definitely. that dude was double double every, every game. Time. Yeah, every time he was hooping, hooping. I like I love it. That's it's in their blood, it's in their DNA, man. I think those three guys for sure make the team. The Cooper kid, uh, he had a big game, a couple, he had some, he had a big game, at least one I know of. 
He had like 27 points or something like that. We got a lot of three point shooters on that summer league team. I like and we that. got uh, that Craig Porter Jr. That kid's Craig sneaky Porter, boy. Yeah, sneaky good. I think he'll make the team too. We got some good young talent coming in. Oh, yeah. We got some good young the three that I think is like really gonna make the team for sure. I like that Merrill kid be getting buckets, three point shoot. Dude, his release is so clean. Yeah. It's, it's he, ridiculous. He, I love that. I love that, man. And they look good, man. They look good. I was impressed. I was impressed. They they did good. The Cavs, they've been they've been improving at in, over this last decade, man. And, and, uh, and with, personnel and build, team building and drafting and that see yeah. that that's the crazy shit because we never ever talk about how they went through the draft. We got some young guys. Usually it's only like one young guy. We're yeah, worried about like that one, one dude. Yeah. We got three, if All not three? four yeah. guys. We could be yeah. like these dudes right here. We need them because they a couple of them is better than some of the dudes we got on our team now. Yeah. <laughs> for real. I mean, and Isaiah's been in the league for two years now, so because yeah. he came in with, with Evan, so yeah. he's been around. I think Merrill, I don't I don't know if Merrill's been in the league for a year or if he's just come in. I yeah. mean, Imani Bates is Imani Bates. Again, he was all over Slam Magazine, NBA, yeah. Man, yeah. saying how he was – you know, uh, a lifetime generational talent type stuff. And he is, and and I, his ceiling is high as hell. Yeah, high as hell. I think I think I think his ceiling is like twenty five points a game. Oh, he can get up there, boy. No, you put him, if, if he rebound. Gets, you, know. you could put him at that three and let him just. Yeah, he gonna shoot, but he can he can score anywhere. You know, he can <laughs> dribble off the dribble. He got to handle with the crossover, all of that stuff, man. He can score any way you need him to score. And he moves off the ball. That's key. Yeah. You got to move off the ball. He catch a shoot. He can catch him and that Merrill kid off the yeah. ball. They, they seem to be daggers off the ball. And that's what we need. We need that catch and shoot because we don't have that. That's what Chetty supposed to be. That's what Karis Levert and them guys yeah. supposed to be. But they not that. Well, see, not. Now, now Levert doesn't have to be that. He could be that. I'm going to pound you straight to the hole, and if it ain't there, I'm going to kick it out, and boom, there's a three right there. There's LeVert probably a better point guard than shooting guard or small forward, and they keep putting him at shooting guard and shit. He probably a better point guard. Well, that's why they should let him run that point off the bench. Point guard for Garland, that'll be, he'd be good at that. Well, him, well, see, you, the thing is they still got Rubio, and Rubio's going to be that main guy off the bench. Well, they need to get Rubio the fuck out of here because he can't, <laughs> he can't stay nah, healthy. I got no problem with him he being there. He can't stay healthy, man. Let that veteran presence be there for now. Yeah, he can stay in the locker room, but get him off the court. I'm saying, <laughs> he play, man, he can't stay healthy, man. Just keep him on the sideline, let him motivate everybody. I, I've been these young guys, Merrill and Imani, let let them show these guys. Yeah, yeah, teach them the game, man, because we got a lot of young talent coming in. I like it, man. I think it's. I mean, I just bright look future. at that thing. That's yeah, beautiful. It's bright future, man. They even get a ring. That trophy, I think that trophy looks cool as hell. They had that trophy. Yeah, like they a, did. Hey, they did give him a good trophy. Like it, it's cool looking. Yeah, they gave him a good trophy. That's what's up. I'm proud of them boys. Congratulations. Hell yeah. The Cavs Summer League, boys. Good job. Uh, what's going on with the Suns, man? They done gave up Cameron Payne now and brought in Bowl Bowl, which is cool because he like 7'3 or some shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But why you give up? Who is they backup point guard now? A young dude or something, a rookie. Who was they? They gave up their backup point guard, like, and they. I, I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do right now. Uh, or or uh, Booker gonna be the point guard? How is this? Talking about, they were talking about Bill being the point guard. Bill's not a point guard. Bill. Let's <laughs> so see who we got. Who we got? Bill gonna be doing and a C, lot. Fabian Lee. No way. That that's really that's and their other point guard doesn't even have a picture. Yeah. No way. Um, Get them out of here. But what they did with that move was they got draft capital back for Cameron yeah. Bay. So they got some of that back for what they gave away. Yeah, but you would they oh, they about to go out there and be trash. I don't think they're gonna be as good as some people say. Not a lot of people saying they're gonna be good, like experts and people that cover the game and stuff, but yeah, this is gonna be know. they don't care about depth right now. <laughs> they don't care about no bench, boy. <laughs> yeah, no, they 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 got they got a lot of guards. A lot of guards, bro. They little. They are little. DeAndre Ayton ain't about to. He come on, man. He a lot ain't about of guards. They're saying that. They're saying the dude with no pictures. They're starting point guard. What's his name? Jordan Goodwin. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, Jordan Goodwin. He uh, he ain't. Uh, 
I ain't satisfied with him being my starting point guard, but he's not bad. He'll be he's undrafted. Yeah, he'll be. I think he'll develop into something a decent point guard. Doug, he played. I mean, played for Washington. Played seventeen minutes. Averaged seven points. Trash. Trash. (laughs) (laughs) That's what garbage. Care, man. They don't care, man. They don't. They don't want to win. (laughs) <laughs> they think three players is going is going. They, they think their starting five is what's going to win it, bro. What is they starting five? We only know of four of them. <laughs> that's it. Wait, look, you got Aiton. Aiton's not going to do nothing. He ain't done nothing. No, that, that, that's part of the Aiton, starting five. Kevin Durant, Booker, and Bill is going to take them to the grace. Three players. This is a team game. You need at least seven or eight players listen, that, to get you where you need to go. Listen, Booker, Bill may run that because. Eric Gordon, they, uh, Eric yeah, Gordon, they Eric Gordon. Bench. Like they and they say that these is all shooting guards. These just dudes that like to shoot shots. <laughs> Where's the just hit jumps. who gonna be the facilitator? Bradley Bill is not gonna be the facilitator. No, he, 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 it's gonna be a lot of one on one with him. Yeah, see that that that's a move they're gonna have to make halfway through. They're gonna have to go find some guys. Just or one of them dudes gonna have to just be like I'm James Harden now. Because James Harden did it, he went from scoring thirty five a game to eighteen, and but he double digit assists. I can see, I can see some crazy transformation right there. That's probably the craziest transformation in the history of the game. And now all he wants is prime. Like he wants to be a Clipper. Who? That's all Harden wants is to be a Clipper. He uh, he wanted to be a Brooklyn. He wanted to be a Rocket. He right. wanted to be a Sixer. Like it, man. Is, he's a journeyman, man. How does he wants to go be a Clipper? Yeah, I'm tired of Harden, man. He just want to go everywhere. Bring <laughs> in Durant, bro. Get y'all out of here, bro. Like, he washing up trash. Yeah, they just want to keep going everywhere, man. Like, bro, just do your job, fulfill your contract. That's the one thing that motherfuckers can't say about LeBron. He feel he fulfilled all his contracts. He didn't leave before they was up or nothing. No. He always fulfilled his contracts and then did what he had to do. So that's, these, right. that's the one thing I get tired of. Yeah, bro. Durant was in his first year of his four-year extension and left. <laughs> I want to go to the Suns now. Bro, what? It's one year. You got four years, bro. What the? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he was like, I see it. It's better over there. We trash. We been trash for three and a half years, dog. I got to get up out of here, B. Like. Y'all had James, <laughs> James Harden and Kyrie. Come on, man. Yeah, that's that's crazy. What's going on in the world, man? Of NBA. I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't like this type of NBA stuff where these Me stars neither. are just oh they work this year. I'm out of here. I'm like, out of here. Like that's trash, man. Y'all yeah. they giving it a bad name, man. Like and then they, they people want to blame it on LeBron and I don't see how he fulfilled all his contracts. He never left before a contract was up, so they can get that out of here. That he never did that. No. He never did what these dudes is doing now. They is wilding. Even if the team, as all them years, Cleveland was trash. Gosh, he never God. demanded a trade. Dude, and, and the thing is, he took teams that you wouldn't even think would ever. Their players like, would never sniff nothing. You got to be a Cavs fan to know some of these teams he drug to the finals. And yes, drug. Drug. Not even to the, just to the playoffs and deep in the playoffs, just drug bro, these dudes. That 07 team, he, he was 22 years old, bro. Like, and it was niggas he was playing with that was 38. Like, Parker, them dudes was old, bro. Uh, uh, Larry Hughes was like 32 or 33 or something. Larry Hughes and you had Eric Snow the around. Brunus, there. Good. Like, the Brunus, Brunus. Like, all these dudes was old, man. Sasha Pavlovich. Pavlovich, like, where are these old ass dudes? The only dude that was younger than him on that squad was, I think, Booby Gibson. Booby, yeah, young ass Booby. <laughs> and Booby had a good game in Detroit. That's what he was he good. Did. He had that great game, and then that was it. But that was just like, man, like, I don't get it, man. I Now it's just, this is different, man. Like, these dudes, they. They hop around so much, man, and don't fulfill their contracts. It's different if you fulfill your contract. Go wherever you want to go. You did what you were supposed to do. Is you can go wherever you want to, but in the middle of it or in the beginning of it is crazy, dog. You took the extension. <laughs> fulfill that and at least give me two half of it. I must say, yeah, good. 
do two years and then all right, get traded yeah. at the deadline or something. Not but now you trying to leave in year one, dog. It just started. Like, come on, man. Like first game. Well, we didn't look good. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm out of <laughs> here, man. I'm gonna go play for this team that just went to the finals. And that's in Dame, bro. That's that brings me to Dame. Like, bro, that's corny, bro. You did all man. I don't care what nobody say. You ain't gonna tell me this dude been talking about the grind and people running from the grind and talking all this cash money, but then you want to get traded to the team that just went to the finals. You running from the grind too. You trying to go to an NBA finals team. Like, bro, if you know, we've been told you to leave. Now you want to jump on a ring chasing uh, bandwagon. Like, come on, bro. Like, just say, just say, like, this is what I've been wanting to do. I was just trying to be loyal. I was just trying to look like yeah, say, I mean, he was. He was loyal as hell through all that trash. He didn't have to be. For what? And then they, then they got rid of C.J. McCollum, and that made that team a whole lot of trash. That's loyal to a fault, man. Like, I'm never doing that, man. He should have been left, man. Don't try to try to talk about everybody else back for doing it, and, like, and then you yeah. do it. But the team you want to go to, it's just the team he want to go to, bro. Like, you want to go to the Heat. They just went, and you think you're going to go to the Heat and they still going to have a team after they have to trade all these dudes for you? Trade all that? No, bro, you they not going to have a team. You got to go somewhere that got draft picks and, and players because the draft picks are enable, allows you to not give up everybody. Yeah. The Knicks, hella draft picks. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans, Utah, <laughs> New Orleans, you it's a lot of teams that you can go, even it's some good teams he could go to. That's got draft picks. Listen, what, what if he went to Oklahoma City with I was about to say Oklahoma them City boys, dude? That they young squad with him over there, great Ooh. young team, great young team. And that's a perfect segue because Chet back and he looked good in the summer league. I think he's gonna have a good season. I don't think if you already had a rookie season, even though you was injured, you still shouldn't be able to be rookie of the year, but he could, he, he's in, he can be rookie of the year. If he go out there and play like you need to play. Well, he got injured before uh, the season. He got injured in the second game of the season. It was yeah, that, You can't count that. You had to play a rebound game. against LeBron and got injured in the second That's game. Crazy. You remember Blake Griffin had two rookie seasons. Yeah. Had like two or three rookie seasons. I think it was his third year. And he finally got, he was, I think he got rookie eight year his third season. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, because and Joel Embiid, I think he was a rookie of the year, like his second or third season. His second season, yeah. yeah. So it's like, all right, it's crazy, man. But that's, that's how it go, man. But if he go to if he go to the Thunder, I think that'd be fire. Him and Shea going crazy because they they got a lot of draft picks and they ain't even they only gonna have to give up like two players maybe, and they got a lot of players, a lot of young, wow. really young, good good players. I like their team. I like their team. I really do. If they get a vet like Dame. They could go somewhere and then make a couple other moves and bring in another good ass bread. Again, that's like if Orlando did something like that with a young squad. Yeah, they they got a real good young team. And they I just mean, brought in more young, good young dudes. It's yes. like some trades, get rid of some. They got draft picks, get rid of some stuff. You know what I mean? Bring in a couple of veterans, like real good veterans, man. They got some too. Yeah, it'll be fun to watch. Them and Oklahoma City be real fun to watch. I think Oklahoma City gonna surprise a lot of people. But they, they were pretty much they were set up to be in the playoffs, and then they drifted off at the end. Drifted off at the end, but I think if Chet can have a whole uh, have a good season, maybe 60, 65 games. You got to play sixty five games to be eligible for any awards. So yeah. sixty five games, that's all they need from him. Get to the playoffs, you know what I mean, or to play in because I think they might. I think they'll be a play in team again. Or they'll be they'll be seven or eight. I think they'll just like I mean they'll be uh, six or seven. I think they'll just sneak in at six, or they'll be seven. All right. You know what I mean? I think they're gonna surprise some people and be better than the Pelicans. Uh, they'll be better than the Blazers. I think they're gonna be better than the Jazz. It's a few teams. I, I even think they're gonna be better than the Spurs. They're gonna be better than all the a lot of teams. I don't even think the Spurs is even gonna make the play in or none of that. No, I think they're still young. They trying to go. Big going to go year out out 72 years. points a game and 92 rebounds, and he's going to be a generational talent better than everybody that ever played the game at seven foot five. Just at seven foot five is what that, when you say that, that just, no, bro. <laughs> at seven foot five, that's what's about to happen. No. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. He's seven foot five. It's not, no. He can grab a shit ton of rebounds. If he's good, and then apparently he's not, because at seven foot five, dog. Yeah. In summer league, 
those two games, he should have had 20 or 30 rebounds. He's been crushing. You know what I mean? He had a nine or eight rebound game. His first, yeah, his first game. He was seven foot five. So I don't want to hear that seven foot five hype, man. Because it's going to get even worse in the NBA. Like, and when you playing against people that's at you, now they, now they at you because you the hype. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, that, now you got to prove yourself. Got to bang. Once they get a nice elbow to them ribs and, and they get bruised up, he, he got to sit. Yeah. He's injured. Rib yeah. contusion. Six weeks. Like, he, I'm telling you, they about to fight. It's all that little NBA tricks they do. They poke you, elbow you, hit your shoulder, everything. He got to be able to deal with that. Well, speaking of taking shots to the ribs, what do you think about this coming up this weekend? It's about to be crazy. <laughs> Just look at him. Crawford stats. got four belts. He ain't got four belts. Look at him stats. Crawford ain't got four belts though. Now that might be an old pick, but that's got to be an old pick because Errol Spence got like three belts. Look at him stats. Yeah, I think I think Crawford got one, and I think Errol Spence got like three of them. I don't know, whatever it is. It's Saturday, right? Saturday. Yeah, man. See, ain't nobody playing that shit nowhere, man. Uh, we can I, play I, wherever I, we want. I, well, I know that. I, we might have to talk to Caleb like, bro, man, can we put the fight up here on the fire stick? Caleb would do it. You're going to have to knock that internet out and just be right on that, though. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the problem. You have to solidify that internet. Otherwise, it'll be sketchy. Oh, why? Because what, they can track that shit or something? Well, no, it'll be to the point to where it's lagging because internet's everywhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can't put it on his internet. Yeah, it would have to be on like one that no one else touches, but <laughs> something else. Couldn't be on, you know, it linking through the lottery and linking through the no, guests, none of that. Hot spot. <laughs> yeah, if you do that and run it off that, if it's strong enough, it'll definitely work. Well, regardless, it's getting watched, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is gonna be a big one, man, because this is two dominant, really, really good fighters, and it's hard to even pick somebody to win this fight, man. But man, if I gotta pick one, man, I'm gonna probably go with Errol Spence at the end of the day, man. See, I'm going the other way, I'm going Crawford. I mean, it's hard to do that. I've been picking Crawford. I've been picking Crawford the whole time, but Errol Spence, man, he just – he's a big dude. I mean, look, 29 KOs, 38. Yeah. And then 21 and 27. Jesus. Damn, man, he 38 and oh, Lord. But I'm going to go with Errol Spence, man. Errol Spence hits hard. He is really hard. Really good fighter. My my gut telling me Bud gonna win it though. Terrence Crawford gonna get the win, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna go with Errol Spence, man. Well, we'll see. We'll see this coming up Saturday. What goes down? I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think we're gonna get exactly what we're looking for. Two guys that's you know they they not too technical, but they can fight. You know what I mean? They can box. They they like. They both go for knockouts, you know what I mean? Like they want they go try to knock each other out. It's oh, they definitely they definitely gonna do that, but they both can take the hits and roll with the punches. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they don't really like they um they just fighters, man. Like so, so what are you feeling? You feeling distance or someone gets knocked? Nah, they going to distance. Neither one of these guys, none of neither one of them going down. 27, no, 38, no, they don't fought some good guys. Need not neither one of them going down. Agree. Let, let something crazy happens. Agree. Nah, nah. Well, yeah, of course. If something crazy happened, yeah, but I don't. Like, if one of them breaks their hand during the fight, then changes yeah. everything. This is yeah. one of those type of fights, though. Yeah. You can hurt yourself beating on this or trying to, you know, like that. Yeah. I think they both going to leave hurt. Oh, they're both going to leave like, I think, up. Bro, I think they're going to beat each other up. It's going to go to distance and it's going to be a close win. I don't think nobody's about to go out because these is two. It's just who it is. It's two. These is two really good fighters, man. They don't their go IQ out. Is ridiculous in the ring. They don't go out and get dominated and lose. No, nah, their you know IQ I mean? is ridiculous. Yeah, they could even be down on the card, but it don't really look like they down. You know what I mean? And they, yeah. it, it's just different, man. <clears throat> you got stuff where they got to pick. Like you're gonna be a judge, you're gonna be like, all right, who am I giving the 10 to? Because I mean it's gonna be a toss-up in a lot of those rounds. At least I think it's gonna be close. Oh, I, I I'm right there with you. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I mean, yeah, mystery sauce, yes. 
We are well. We hope you well too. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, always appreciate always, you, man. Always, always. So you got Bud? Yeah, I got Bud. All right, man. I want to say Bud with you, man, but I just I'm, I'm gonna just be on the opposite side, man. I'm gonna go Arrow. It's I don't know if all four belts on the line, but I do know like the I think it's the WBA for sure. I think it's I think that's the one. I don't know if all of them on the line though. So we'll see. Uh, I heard about uh, ah, oh, I just slipped my mind. I'll remember it. What are you um, we, might, about? we might have to talk about it next time. It's just, it, I had it, then it just completely slipped my mind. But uh, I want to make fun of Tyson Fury and, and the, what's his name? The Ganu, Ganu, man. Why is they doing that? Is it just a tune up fight? I, I, I don't. Dude, I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, all right. Yeah. That should be fun. It's always fun watching the GOAT. Always. It's always fun watching the GOAT. Never be mad at that. But well, hold on. See, now it says it's not going to be this Saturday. Why not? It says it's the 22nd, right? No, nah, it says the 29th. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. The, damn, I thought it was the 22nd. So did I. All right, maybe it's the 29th then, so it's the following Saturday. Because well, now I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm about, I'll watch it for you, and I'll let you know. Why. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'll gonna... definitely have to figure something out. Because yeah, that's gone. That's pissing me off now. Yeah, man. But why you think you think this is just a tune-up fight for Fury? You think he gonna fight and then beat beat up on him and then go fight a big fight? For somebody who waiting on Fury? They all are. Uh... Oh, Lennox, that that's supposed to be he the fight. That's supposed to yeah. happen. But I think it's he, is he doing this tune-up fight, and then he's going to go fight. That's what I mean. I guess, man. That's... God, that's Yeah, crazy. man. Is he in the States? He in the States? I know he's in there. That the States, they, they, they did that big show for him when he showed up, too. The stadium. Yeah, man. That is crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. huge. Yeah, that's crazy. That huge. Hey, but when you get ownership, man, that's ownership is better than a check because that check you get from ownership is better than a check that you get from being an employee. So I understand. And they would have gave him a billion to play over there. They would have gave him two billion to play over there. I think that's what he turned down. Wasn't it like two billion or something like that? They're fighting for the yeah, he turned down two billion. They're fighting for the yeah, undisputed welterweight world championship. Who? That's what Spence and Crawford are fighting. They for. fighting for what? What'd you say? The undisputed world championship. Yeah, the I think undisputed it's the, uh, welterweight world championship. Yeah, I think it's the WBA. That's the big one. There's I think. Uh, the most significant title fights of all time: unified WBC, WBA, and IBF welterweight world champion Earl the Truth Spence will take on WBO 147 pound world champion Terrence Bud Crawford for the undisputed welterweight world championship. Oh, so Crawford. Also, oh, all the belts on the line. Oh, there you go. He turned down one point six billion yeah, for, three, for three years. For three years. Yeah, I know. He said I'll be in there, boy. Hey, but he gonna make way more than that getting ownership with David Beckham's team. Like he got yeah. ownership. He got equity, man. Equity is way better because you can even own one percent of a company, and that one percent could be a hundred million dollars a year. And what do we call that? Generational, Generational wealth. wealth. That's why all these uh heirs and. Prince it'll never stop. Heirs, the businesses they be rich because they all own one percent of this Fortune five hundred that's worth forty billion dollars. Yep. So they one percent is like fifty million a year, and it's flipping by itself. They ain't even doing it. Yeah, they ain't doing it's nothing. Flipping. Making fifty a year. So Messi did he did the right thing, man. Definitely gonna check out some games because they'll be we'll we'll get to see more. They don't they ain't televised as much, you know, over here unless it's something big, you know. The regular I mean, right now, you got Cincinnati, the F FC Cincinnati's. FC, oh, yeah. now, right now. I don't know nothing about them, though. I just know they're balling out because you see, yeah, uh, I read it every now and then, they balling out. Yeah, they need to go win something. Well, they, they, they're supposed to go win something, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, well, the fights in two, the fights. You see this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's every yeah. That's even that's more that's bankroll, baby. That's what I'm saying. That's smart. That's equity. All of that is equity. Yeah, that's, man, part of ownership. that's what you get when you're a part of ownership. You get all of that stuff. Hell yeah. Man. I would have went too. I would have came to the States too for that. Yeah. Hell yeah. But 
you got to do what you got to do, man. You know, you got to do what you got to do to sell tickets, to uh, bring entertainment to the sport, because that's what David Beckham trying to do is bring entertainment to over here. You know, it's big overseas and other countries. It's big over there. It's not that it's, it's, we just got in. We just got like to that level. You know what I mean? To where we got teams and you know what I mean? And people actually. It's that, it's that we got players of significant well, name that's value now. That's what I'm saying. That's you got a big to, thing now over here. You got to bring who you got to bring to make it work. You know what I mean? And like that move right there was probably the biggest move in sports history to get him from over there. Dang. Four hundred ninety million IG followers. That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Four hundred ninety million. That is crazy, yo. <laughs> so many people just watching you. Yeah, just that's a that I don't I don't never want four hundred and ninety million people following me. Well, I mean, on your professional IG, that's one no, thing. Never, not even on that. That's too many people. I don't care. I'm uncomfortable with that. That just made me tingle and shit. Well, that's gonna happen. What you gonna expect when you make it big? Nah, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm never. That's too. That's anxiety, man. That's too much. No, I won't tell you. I'm never looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people gonna be? How many the DMs are gonna be nuts? <laughs> Millions of DMs. No, uh, yeah. that that is the truth right there. Because the World Cups here in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada in in twenty six. Yep. yep, it's all yep. Money play smart. Rock is going to be huge and it's going to blow up over here. They're going to make even more money. So smart move for them though. But good show today. Oh yes. Like to end it with the with with the side with the football talk. I like it. What they say is it football or football? Football. It's football. It's just football. you know. Okay. Like to end it with that. That was nice. That was different for us. That was that was that, nice. That, that was appreciate you, mystery sauce man. Appreciate. Yeah, yeah he that. threw that in there. Yeah, he threw that in there because we wasn't even thinking about that. But that's a hey, that's probably the biggest move in sports history, man. Appreciate you, man. You're good, man. You, whenever you stop in, that's fine with us. Now, yeah, you know? come on in and do what you just did. That's what we want with our guys. As long as you hear, topic, we could talk. As long as you hear, we happy. But we appreciate everybody to stop by every week. Same thing, sports, sports, and more sports. That's we right. like when y'all interact, feed us comments and stuff like that. Y'all might give us some topics we ain't even thinking about. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow us on all of those down there. Yes, yes, put us yes. on. We got it. Spread the word tomorrow. Relax Wednesdays, 6 30. For all of y'all who follow that, be there or be square. But <laughs> for our sports fans, we'll see y'all. Same time next week. Salute.